This is a quick video on how you can solve the warning extra attributes from the server style. And this is coming from the React vertical timeline component. Now I ran into one issue with this uh, library. If I inspect here and I go to console, I get this uh, error. So extra, extra attributes from the server style at HTML. Now I had no idea what this was about until I inspected the element tab. And I saw here HTML style is dash dash line color. So this li this um, this library is adding uh, a CSS variable to the HTML element. Now, and there's probably gonna be an issue with uh, server versus client components. So on the server, it doesn't have this style. And then on the client side, it actually has this style. So the, the HTML structure is different on client versus server. That's my best guess here. Um, and actually we are very, it's very easy to solve that actually. So we can actually just go to a vertical timeline here and we can set the line color ourselves to just an empty, uh, an empty string. So it doesn't, it doesn't cause any issues. Now we do want to have a line in the middle. So we do want to set that line color and we're actually just going to set that ourselves in our globals.css file, which we haven't used so far, right? So if we go to the globals file in the app directory, here on the HTML element, we can set our own line color and we can just set that to E5E7EB. Okay, let's see if we get a line and we get a line, right? And let's also see if the uh, animation works as we scroll it into view, right? We don't do that ourselves, that's coming from the library. So let's see, scroll down and see. Yeah, so very cool. As we scroll down, we get those uh, very cool intro animations. By the way, if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Also, check out my courses on CSS and JavaScript if you want to take those skills to an advanced level. Because in there, we will build some beautiful real-world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master CSS or JavaScript. And I will also release other courses soon like React and Node.js. So if you want to be notified, then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.